Sydney, the Wine O'Clock Show plays and stays at the Adge Hotel. Dare to be different at the Adge Hotel. We're going to kick off the first topic, and it is about uh, this week, uh, who handles money better? Is it the male or is it the female? Oh dear. Uh, Lib <laughs> Liberty Bank has come out this week to state Sorry, that man. women... <laughs> you're too heavy there. Women tend to control the money in relationships, and it's women that seem mm -hmm. to stick to their budgets, and it's women that, if payments get off track, manage to bring it back into line. Catherine, do you agree with that? Look, I think in, in my relationship, yes. Um, and it's funny because I used to be so bad with money, but I think a mortgage will make anybody re be good with money. Like you just have to or you lose your house. So, you know, that's just something I guess that comes with, with, uh, with growing up as well. But I, don't, I think it's different with every relationship. I don't think you can say, you know, the woman should always take care of the money and, and that's, that's the bottom line. But I think sometimes, you know, the male in the relationship is better with the money. So... I don't know, I think it's... <laughs> Do you agree with that? Depends. <laughs> oh, th those, those stats you had before, are they proven? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely in my relationship. Um, as much as I love Anna, uh, she needs a little um, support and encouragement with keeping track of her, her money. We've just been going through tack. And I'm like, you don't give, so she have, you paid, like have you paid your GST? Yeah. Have you done this? And she's like, no, what's this? And, and then, you know, what's your um, notice of a set? Have you got your notice of, no, what's that? How, you know, she has no idea. And then she's got a tax bill and she's like, how do I have to pay this? Why do I have to pay this tax? I'm like, that's life, babe, sorry. Yes. Well, there so you go. Sorry. So not in your no. household, yeah. Yeah. you run no, the money? Definitely, Yeah, I definitely, run the money yeah. in my household, yeah. sorry. I don't get to touch Anna's, but you know, still, I help her spend it. <laughs> <laughs> and she helps you spend yours. Exactly. Yeah. That's the way it works. <laughs> Um, another thing that's come out this week, so the secret's out of the bag, apparently uh, there's a new survey that's out that parents actually do have a favourite child. Well, don't I know that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's not the youngest, apparently, it's oh, now the oldest. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both like, can't help you. How many siblings have you got? I've got one elder sister. Yes. Oh, well, apparently she's the favourite. <laughs> apparently. I think her and I would both agree that the other one is the favourite. Because right. we're both actresses, so I think we both feel entitled to as mm. much attention as possible. Mm -hmm. So no. it's interesting mm. to see how, um, I don't have children, but um, talking to people that do have little ones, how the eldest one reacts when they find out that there's mm. another sibling coming. Yeah. They either get really excited or defensive yeah. or angry or upset. And then that dynamic, I think, is really mm. Have you seen, though, there's, been, I think, YouTube clips where that there's a, a girl and she is just hysterical because she's just found out her mother's having another yeah. baby and like upset like yeah I'm not how did you do this to me <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> whereas those kids that are like excited about it it's super cute and you're yeah. like oh, you're gonna be the best brother or sister oh. Oh. Yeah. but yeah i mm, i don't know about that that yeah. study i'm i'm not totally sold on it. yeah me either it's one of those studies show it's yeah. like mm, mm. bound okay. to cause a lot of um family dramas over the dinner oh, table maybe that's the next exactly <laughs> why they did it yeah yeah just but i also wanted to too, like maybe with your first child i would have thought you're like oh god i stuffed that one up and have a second one <laughs> Let's do it better the second time. Yeah. Yeah. Try. Mistakes we made with that one, we won't do with this one. <laughs> or Pretty the much. other way around. Like I know with my, I was very strict. I've got a son who's now 14, but I was very, you know, strict and routine and, mm -hmm. you know, like it's your first child and, you know, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. and then with Michaela, who's, you know, nearly 13, it's the like, favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's our little sports hero but um she it was almost like you know a bit more relaxed with her because you, you're sort of not so yeah you, you know it's 12 o'clock i've got to feed him now yeah. mm. the eldest like, definitely has more responsibility and they have to be the trailblazer for all the things like mm. having my sister was always the first one to have the parties and right. like have boys over and do, do all that stuff not much at all like uh, less than two years so, yeah. so. you just come straight from behind yeah i know yeah. come up in there and reap all the benefits of her heart 
hard <laughs> work. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for showing me the way. Do you find though with your um, sister that your mum it was like really hard on her and like, no, you're not going to parties, but then now with you, she's like, yeah, go for it. Well, she really kind of pushed the boundary. She had all the parties in oh, high school. Yeah, she yeah. had sort of, and I would just kind of ride her coattails. She was pretty cool in high school. So she just kind oh, of sister. pushed all the boundaries and then, yeah, I kind of, you come up looking like roses. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah. maybe it is harder for the elder sibling. Uh, another topic that seems to have hit our shores and is creating huge hysteria <laughs> is um, clowns. Oh you know, we, are they evil or are they fun? But mm. this clown hysteria everywhere. Mm. Um, Joe, I know, even I'll, poor Ronald McDonald. I been, know he's been shelved. His kids have been cancelled. <laughs> Good, I always found him scary. I know. <laughs> there is something really freaky about clowns. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's about the layers of makeup mm. that they're usually older men. Um, yes. Sorry to generalise, but uh, they're 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 covered in this thick layer, so it's their appearance mm. hides their reality. They've got a big smile plastered on. Sort of, you'd never know what's underneath, and I think that it has always horrified children. And Stephen King obviously picked up it with it in his novels yes. yeah. and ran with it. We've had all those classic horror stories since. But my kids have always been petrified of them. Mm -hmm. um, mind you, I had an ex-boyfriend who was a clown, and I used to paint him, and he'd go to parties. <laughs> was he the scary-looking clown, or like no, you know, so bubbles the clown? But they're, they're so out of vogue now. I mean, have you ever been to a party with a, a no. proper clown? No, yeah. not in the last decade. Some of the dodgy circuses that are still running, but I haven't seen a really good professional clown for quite. A while. But I think it is going to take the world by storm. I think mm. pranksters everywhere are going to get in on the act because of the internet, because mm. it's now in the UK, it's mm -hmm. here, it's in Victorian yep. schools. It's um, going to go manic for a while, but yeah. I don't really think we need to be worried that, I don't know, do you think it's that, serious. Like, I guess, do you think it's a fad that's gone a little bit too far? Or, you know, is, is it concern? Like, is it time to be concerned that these yeah. strange people, and I think some of them are, are like going through the streets with machetes mm. and they knives. And, and chasing cars and chasing mm. families and luring kids into the bushes. Woods, yeah. And I think it could take a sinister stone quite easily. I remember something similar was Slender Man, or oh, that was based on sort of like mm. a horror mm. situation. Um, and they've sort of taken the concept of an innocent clown and the first incidents were of them hiding in bushes trying to lure kids in so I'm really alarmed and I'm considering not trick-or-treating this year mm. because yeah, I'm really worried. It's an interesting yeah, one. Yeah because we trick-or-treat it's really big mm. in our area and I'm really worried that there's going to be some of these idiots who are probably I don't know if they're doing it to lure kids or for attention but I don't think they're mentally well so if I see something like that I'm going to be running for my life I'm going to trick-or-treat with my husband my scary dog I think it's a real concern. Mm. I think there's a 15 year old boy actually yesterday that was arrested mm. and charged because he Good. was found outside of his home mm. in the scary you know clown costume with a yeah. knife and he you know says to the cops oh, I was just I'm trying just... to scare my sister oh, but you it's know it's not funny no. I think we're already in panic mode yeah. with terrorism mm. with you know bombs going off and and I mm. think it feeds into that and mm. our our immediate reaction is to panic isn't mm. it mm. we've got you two on the show today so we're going to throw some Australian questions at you cool I know we've got you you've been here I'm going to say years? a week now yeah, a week yeah, yeah yeah so you should know the answers to some of these Trace. Okay. you'll be deported if you don't oh. just saying okay um so we're going to have some questions and you need to tell me the answers uh, how many beaches are there in Australia You've got beaches in Australia. <laughs> you've, really got, you've got everything here. Well, there's only the northern beaches, but don't count the rest of them. <laughs> um, God, beaches. God. All you of Australia. This is, this, is your this is your initiation into Australia. If you don't get these, God. we're going to deport you back. I'll tell you what, you didn't have to do that to get your passport. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> do you need a passport again? <laughs> if you can get one, get one. Valuable. <laughs> can we tell you? 10,000. Um, 10,000 wow. beaches? 10,000. Yeah. Oh, I only know the northern. That's all I need. How many meat pies does, does the Austra average Australian eat? In a lifetime? Or in a day? That's an important thing. How many meat pies does the average Australian eat? I'm sure probably a year. All right. I probably eat so this a week. Look, if they love sport, everybody has a pie. So I'd say 50. about... 50. I'm going to go 50. Oh, hang on, in a year? No, not in a year. Oh, no. I'd say about 250. <laughs> what, in a year? Well, have you been here yeah. since 12? But I'm thinking that's probably maybe 12? a week. Well, that's... That's a day. Yeah. That's <laughs> a day at the cricket. <laughs> I think that question is null and void. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is Australia's most deadliest animal? How we... I know it. Deadliest animal? I know what that is. Well, how Do you? Well, I'm, I'm, never really sure. I'm never really sure what that means. How can some... We've got like, some of the most deadliest animals. If you're dead, you're dead. If a crocodile's <laughs> eating you and all a shark eats you, I mean, you're not more dead. I mean, what does that mean how many people it kills? Like, I'm, you know what? I'd say a tick. 
No. Box oh, jellyfish. Oh. Ticks don't kill you, do they? Yes. Oh, God, the things they don't tell you about this <laughs> yeah. country. Yeah. Do you know that I... Do you get spiders in, in, in the UK? Yeah, but not ones that kill you. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. When I used to have a spider in the UK, I'm used to leave home. <laughs> but now, I see, like, a huntsman, and I'm like, oh, don't touch it. I would... not if you're scared of spiders, you will one day feel like... <gasps> Have you well, seen I'm, not a of, I'm not scared of spiders, I'm scared of dying. And if they're too... <laughs> no, the together. bigger they are, the safer they know, are. There was a snake, there was a deadly snake. I can't remember the name, was it a red belly? Red belly snake, yeah. In, 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 in the, the middle of the city the other day. <laughs> yeah. Outside a pub on George Street. <laughs> my, my daughter rode home from school last summer and there was one curled in our driveway. She nearly ran over it in her bike. Cause it, I saw, because <laughs> it, it came up on the news, you know the lead stories on the news? It came up with the lead story, oh, oh we've discovered a poisonous snake. And yeah. at first I was like... Well, wow, come yeah. on, it is Australia, we know there's poison steaks. And then I heard them say George Street. I'm like, <laughs> but then I was like, oh, that's weird, because the only George Street I know is in the city. city. It's in the one in the city. I saw oh. the Morrison pub. Like, that's, I walk past that every day from work. I do yeah. think they should tell you this. You know at the airport when they're busy asking you if you're yeah. bringing fruit, fruit in? in. They're like, oh, yeah. forget about my fruit, mate. <laughs> yeah. God, well, give me a list of things that can kill me. And get, I'd like it now. I don't think it's fruit, it's fine. Yeah. Right? And then you've got a dog coming, you've got a banana in that. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about the bananas. <laughs> All right. In rhyming slang, if someone says they're going to have a bo peep, oh, what are they doing? Sleep. Sleep, I'm assuming. Is this Aussie rhyming yeah, slang? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know there was Aussie rhyming no, slang. No, I thought there was Lyndon. Yeah. Cockney. Australia holds the world record for which amazing feat? A. Fastest beer bottle opening. Oh. B. Largest Christmas cracker. C. Most sheep sheared in 24 hours. Or D. Largest chicken dance. I'm going to go alcohol. I'm going the crack them with your eyes and whatever else they do, I've seen it. Um, I think I might agree. The sheep shearing seems too obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Largest Christmas cracker. Yeah. Oh, Thanks for don't coming. Don't paint Australians with that boring. So this will be my first Christmas, obviously, yeah. in Sydney. Now, when do... Because the, the Christmas lights and stuff's already <laughs> no. going up in London. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when does it get... Because well, I find it... Like, it's light too light. Well, this is it. Yeah. I was like, this is... Because apparently you still put fake snow on the window. Oh. Which is nuts, <laughs> by the way. That's what I can't <laughs> wait to see. Oh. Just... I've got to be honest. I love this country and it's the best place in the planet. And I've seen lots of countries being married to a cricketer. But let me tell you, Christmas really lets it down. That's the one time I'm disappointed. Christmas? Yeah. It's I'm, not Christmas. It's I'm, just I'm not glad, Christmas I'm, I'm glad I'm going home. Because, well, you know, people are going, just go ahead, Australia, you know, Christmas on the beach. I'm like, I can't no, even can't even That's the only day I don't want to be on a beach. Yes. Over a sausage. Yeah. No, thanks. No, yeah. I I'm I all about turkey. Now, you pommies love neighbours over in your country. So what song played during Scott and Charlene's Oh, I know. It's suddenly <laughs> Angry Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's hilarious. Who are the actors that played Kath and Kim? Oh, I don't know that. I love I've them. met one of them as well. I oh, don't know. Well, you should be more ashamed than me. Yeah. I've not met them. <laughs> Sandra and Jane, Meg. Jane, Jane, Jane Turner, Turner and, and Gina Riley. And Gina. Yeah, Gina. Okay. Can I pour more wine for the wine? Yes, go for it. Oh, um, oh. If I was to chuck a Yui in my ute, yep. what, uh, what would I be doing? A, selecting a Christmas tree. B, stealing a female sheep. You know we're from That's England, it. we're not from Mars, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Funny, because they're saying we're dumb. <laughs> turning, turning a car to head in a different direction or throwing a boomerang? Car is, in a different is it, direction? Is it the world's biggest Christmas cracker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah we, we, we chuck a Yui as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we invented this. No, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Trace, if you don't get this one, oh, you're in big trouble. Uh, what's the most popular sport held on Christmas Day down under? Oh, cricket, Melbourne <laughs> Test, Boxing Day Test. Thank you. Backyard cricket. Yeah, I'll take backyard cricket. Uh, what activity do these words all relate to? Pot, handle, schooner and pony. Is it umpiring Australian rules football, a game of marbles, outback cooking or beer drinking? Well, it's got to be beer drinking. Struggling it? again. <laughs> Let's go with a beer. It's got, yeah, Let's it's got go with the alcohol. It is, it is. Yeah, you pass. I don't get really the skin. So skin is basically Schooner. about three quarters of a pint, isn't I it? I don't even know because I don't, I can't. But look pint, at it seems to be, pint seems to be everywhere now because a couple of times I've asked for a skin and they went, do you, read, do you want a pint? Really? And I went, I do, but then I just don't want to sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll have a yeah. pint then, please. <laughs>